several days of heavy rain this week, a flood awareness group is asking officials to create a statewide plan now to help save lives and properties in these types of storms. News Channel 5's Amelia Young joins us now with details. So Amelia, who is this group and how do they think a plan like this could actually make a difference? Yeah, Jennifer, well, the group is called Flood Ready Tennessee, and they say the state can't keep doing what it's been doing and hope for the best. They say we've seen just how powerful water can be over the past year and even just this past week. Now, the group says there is legislation currently before the Tennessee General Assembly that would create a task force with experts from state agencies like the EMA and TDOT that craft a statewide plan to address the threat of floods so communities have resources to be prepared. And and this affects a lot of people. Almost 400,000 properties across the state are at risk of severe flooding like what was seen in Waverly last summer, according to Flood Factor. This comes as the National Weather Service's Surf Severe Weather Awareness Week ends today. All week, experts have been encouraging folks to create those safety plans. Chrissy Hurley with the National Weather Service here in Nashville says Tennessee had 22 flash flooding fatalities last year. She wants people to understand just how dangerous flooding can become since its warnings are often dismissed. Floods are the number two weather related killer in the state just behind tornadoes. And I think it's one of those deceiving kind of threats that you don't really think twice about. Well, on average, data shows that floods cost Tennessee uh, almost $250 million a year. Jennifer.